Maintaining a consistent character across scenes has always been challenging. You can face swap to create similar face images, but the other features won't match. However, this issue has been solved, and now you can create unlimited consistent character images with 100% accuracy. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your custom characters and then maintain them all over your scenes. So without any further ado, let's dive in. So the AI tool we are going to use today is OpenArt AI. Well, this is an all-in-one AI tool hub for content creators. You can create and customize images, generate videos from text prompts, and even turn your images into videos. There are so many tools available here. Okay, to create consistent character images, we have to use this storytelling consistent character tool. Okay, this is the character creator page. Here you will find three options to create or train your character. After that, you will find some characters I created earlier. After that, you will find pre-trained characters by OpenArt AI. At the bottom, there are some quick templates. Let's move ahead to create a new character. First, you will find the option to train your character with images. If you already have some character images, you can train a character with them. If you have only one image, then use this. Start with one image. And if you want to create a character from only text prompts, then use Start with Description. I will go with this one. Here, first of all, we have to enter the name of the character. Give as you wish. Next, you have to enter the character description in this box. I am entering a ready prompt, where I wrote, A futuristic alien woman, pale complexion with greenish-blue skin. She has smooth green skin, biomechanical patterns, and glowing circuitry embedded along her arms, neck, and torso. Her head is elongated with intricate ridges and black biomechanical tubing, sharp glowing green eyes, elongated ears with translucent fins, and long clawed fingers. She wears an organic armored bodysuit made of black alien materials that blend into her skin. After entering the prompt, you can enhance the prompt using AI. Next, you have to set the style of the image. You can go ahead with realistic, anime, Pixar, RPG, and many more. Select one as per your need. Once everything is set, hit the Create Preview button. And here it is. You can see that it's generating three preview images for us. Okay, these are our images, and they are perfect. If you are not satisfied with them, you can regenerate images, or go back to customize the prompt and generate again. Once you find the perfect character preview image, select the image and then click on Create Character from here. It will take some time to train the character. So, let's fast forward the video. All right, our character is ready. Let's create images with our newly generated character. Once you select the character, you will be on the image generator interface. Here at the left side, you will find four options to create images. Quick templates to create a character or action sheet. Next, the prompt and reference. After that, pose your character, and in the end, place your character in the image. Let's start with Quick Templates. Here you will find various types of templates to create sheets. If you come to the Scene tab, you will find some common scenes. You can select any one from here and create images. Let's assume I want to create an action sheet. After selecting the template, set the aspect ratio from here, and in the end, set the number of images you want to generate. Once everything is set, hit the Create button and wait for some time. And here it is. You can see that OpenArt AI generates two images for us, and both of them are a perfect action sheet of our character. It perfectly clones our character and creates various action poses. This is amazing. Now let's go back and create images using prompt and reference. Okay, now we have to enter the prompt here in this box. You can see that the name of our character, Lily, is mentioned in the prompt box. We have to enter the action, environment, and background next to the name. For example, I am typing, is walking in a dense jungle. After entering the prompt, you can use the auto enhance option to turn your basic prompt into a highly detailed prompt automatically. Next, we have the character settings. Here you can set the weight of the character. I will keep it as usual, as I found this is the best setting. Next, we have preserve key features. It's turned on now. If you want to make changes to the character's key features, like outfit, hair features, then you have to turn this off. 
We will try this later. After that, we image guidance feature. Here you can upload an image to generate a similar image using the image to image tool. The pose reference is used to generate an image in a particular pose. Next, you can add a composition reference, and if you have a rough sketch and want to turn an image with the character, then use the sketch reference feature. After image guidance settings, we have output size settings. Here we can set the aspect ratio of our image. After that, in the advanced settings, you can set the steps and upscale value. I am skipping this time. In the end, set the number of images you want to generate and then hit the Create button. As usual, we have to wait some time to generate the image. It's not very long. OpenArt AI is very fast to generate images. And here it is, our images are ready. And look at the quality, this is outstanding. It perfectly portrays our character and blends with the scene. All the character's features are perfectly matched to what we see in our preview image. Now let's create another image. This time I am typing, firing with a futuristic gun at night, fire at her background. After entering the prompt, I will set all the settings and then hit the create button. And here it is, the image is ready. And look at the image quality. This is just amazing. The detailing is outstanding. And most importantly, it keeps the character very consistent in every scene. Now, imagine you have an image and you want to create a similar image with your character. Let's see how we can do it. First of all, we have to enter the basic prompt. After that, come to the image guidance settings and select the image to image tool. Upload the reference image. You can select the reference values. After that, set all other settings and once done, hit the create button. And here it is, our images are ready. And look at the quality. It creates a pretty much the same image as the reference image, but with our trained character. So now you can create any kind of images concerning your character. Next, the Pose Reference tool is very interesting, and this is the Pose Editor interface. Now you can set the pose of your character as per your need. First, select the base model. Once done, set a reference pose. Don't worry, we can customize any pose. Now you can customize it using the Rotate tool. Every part of the body is customizable. It's like a 3D software. Once the pose is set, save the pose. Now set all other settings and then hit the Create button. And here it is, the image is ready. Now you can see that this time, open art perfectly portrays the character as per the pose reference we created. So, now you don't have to worry about the pose of your character. Just set the pose and create outstanding images with your character. Not only a single image, but you can create consistent images with multiple characters. To do that, click here and then. Select another character you want to use. Once the character is added, you have to enter the prompt. Mention both the character and their action with other elements. Once done, hit the Create button. And here it is, the images are ready. And you can see that OpenArt AI perfectly creates images with both of the characters. This is just amazing. I love it. Okay, now let's talk about the Place Your Character Image tool. With this tool, you can place your character in any reference image. After selecting the tool, set the area where you want to place your character, and then enter the prompt. After entering the prompt, set all other settings, and then hit the Create button. And here it is, our images are ready. This time, you may find some issues in your images, but they are minor. Okay, now you can select any images and download or customize them. Here at the bottom, you will find the options to upscale the image. You just have to set the upscale value, and AI will automatically upscale the image like this. You can see the result. This is incredible. Here at the top of the page, you will find various options to edit the image, like InPaint, Background Remover, and others. The AI Photo Editor tool gives you free hand to edit your image. All right. Want to turn your character image into a video? Then click here, and you will be in the AI Video Generator interface. You can see that our image has been added as the reference image. Not only image to video, you can create videos with text prompt, image to video, elements, and audio. Today, I will talk about only the image to video tool. Okay, if you have a last frame, you add it here. After that, enter the additional prompt. Next, if you want to generate automatic background sound, then enable this option. Next, you can create lip sync automatically. 
After that, set the video duration and quality mode. Once everything is set, hit the create button. Now, we have to wait for some time. I will fast forward the video. And here it is. The video is ready. Look at the quality. This is amazing, and the sound is just perfect in this shot. So, now you can create high-quality, consistent character videos with any character. This is not the end. There are so many features available on OpenArt AI. I'll make more videos on these features. In one word, OpenArt AI is a perfect tool for content creators. So, don't forget to try this tool. Alright friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience of creating consistent character images and videos using OpenArt AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!